Well, tonight, the Pfizer vaccine is fully approved by the FDA. Many are calling it the stamp of approval, a big step towards swaying more people toward getting vaccinated that haven't received it yet. Here at WMER2 News, we are the voice for your veterans. WMER2 News is Eddie Kadem, live downtown tonight. Eddie, what does this approval mean for some of our active duty service members? Well, Kelly, the Secretary of Defense said that if a vaccine was approved by the FDA, then shortly after that, there would be a mandate. I talked to a lawyer tonight who says that mandate for military members to get the vaccine should be coming in a few days, not a few weeks. Members of the military are required to take all FDA mandated vaccines upon entering. Right now, around 30% of the military is unvaccinated for COVID-19. Our office has been flooded with calls from individuals who have multiple objections. Some of the objections may well be from conspiracy theories that are not valid. However, the majority of the objections generally seem to be good faith based religious opposition or medical concerns. Sean Timmons is a managing partner at Tully Rinkney who specializes in military law. The military will now provide free legal counsel to seek a waiver, which Timmons says is unusual. He anticipates multiple cases to be filed by members of the military trying to stop the mandatory vaccination program. The argument will be the FDA process was not it was not followed correctly, it was rushed. Because it was rushed, it violated the existing protocols in place under the Administrative Procedures Act. That may well entitle individuals to temporary relief. Military members could apply for a medical waiver, but the needle of the law is bending towards the military and not the members for that option. Medical exemption will be tricky because if somebody says, I'm medically unable to take the vaccine, the military's response to that will probably be, okay, you're medically unable to serve because you have to meet medical retention criteria in order to keep serving. So they face discharge from a medical point of view because they'll no longer be deployable worldwide. People trying to join the military may not be allowed to go through recruiting if they don't get the vaccine. But if they're already serving, they may be vested and could get religious exemption. Under existing regulations, Army Regulation 600-20, for example, Army Command Policy outlines the opportunity for those with religious objections to go through the chaplain to express that their need for a religious accommodation. If you're in the military and don't take either of those routes, you could be court-martialed for violating a lawful order and be sentenced to discharge or be discharged and confined. I would recommend everybody get vaccinated. I myself have had to perform international travel for my case advocacy. I, I was vaccinated. I was vaccinated for anthrax too. I didn't have any knock on wood side effects from that. The attorney I talked to says he anticipates that these issues will be taken to the Supreme Court and a negative trickle down effect of this is that all the influx of work that the military justice offices will have to do now with vaccine related consequences. For more information on military rights and laws, we have a link on our website, WMAR2news.com. Live in downtown Baltimore tonight, Eddie Kadem, WMAR2news.